Hey guys, it's Robert, and today we're making dessert. Specifically, we're making Ferrero Rocher truffles. Oh yeah, these are gonna be good. All you need are some roasted hazelnuts, some cocoa powder, some chocolate chips, dark chocolate, baking chips, a little bit of agave syrup, some vanilla extract, and I'm using pink Himalayan sea salt. The sea salt brings out the flavor of the chocolate. It's, it's really incredible how it does it. So to get started, we're gonna take and put aside a few of the hazelnuts. We're gonna use these here to actually put in the center of your truffles. Oh yeah. So I don't really know how many that is, but maybe 15, 16 about. So then you're gonna take your food processor, pop that puppy open, take your hazelnuts, put them inside the food processor. Oh yeah. So these ingredients are actually in the description list of this video so make sure you check it out for the exact ingredients so you put your top on and then we're gonna pulse this holding it bam yeah it's a little loud oh yeah so I'm gonna turn it on now that's going to pulse it up nice and good let's stop it awesome that looks good. Look at that. Nice, fine consistency. This is going to be perfect. Oh, yeah. So, yep, there's a little bit of static electricity in here. So now, with those being pulsed up and nice and small, we're going to add in our cocoa powder. Just kind of adding it evenly in. There we go. Add in those baking chips. Pretty fan fantastic. Add in your agave syrup. This is just to give it a little bit of extra sweetness. Oh yeah. Your vanilla extract is coming in next. And like I said before, all these ingredients are in the description of this video. A little bit of sea salt, just a little. Bam. So now we're gonna take this, put the top back on, and then I'm just gonna pulse this, okay? There you go. Getting incorporated in together. There we go. Let's take this out and let's look at it. So you're gonna grab it, see if it kind of holds together. So this is a little dry. So one of the things that we can do, we can add just a little bit of water. Just a little bit, we'll be adding just one teaspoon at a time to get that right consistency, okay? So here's your water. Like I said, just add like a teaspoon at a time. Just to moisten it up just a little bit. We're gonna pop the top back on, pulse it. There you go. And then let's check it again. Ah, see that's a little bit better. I'm thinking maybe we add one more teaspoon. Still a little dry. And this is why we add just a little bit at a time. I think that's going to do it. Place that off to the side. Pop it back on, and we're going to pulse again. Oh 
Oh, that's looking so much better now. Bam. Take off the top. Let's feel it. Oh, I think, I think this is it. This is definitely it. So now, what we're going to do next, we'll put the top over there. I'm going to take this spoon. And we're going to take a plate to put our truffles on. So we're taking that same spoon that we used to put the water into it. You're going to grab some, kind of put it into your hand. Oh yeah. We're just kind of flattening it out a little bit because once we have some in our hand, you're going to take your hazelnut Place that into the center, and then we're going to kind of mold it around that hazelnut, okay? And guess what? You can always add in a little bit more of your mixture. Just take that there, place it on top, form it around, bam. Bam. Fan damn tastic. Now you may notice that these are probably a still just a tad bit dry, but that's okay. Once you compact them down, bam, one Ferrero Rocher truffle. Fan damn tastic. And we're making more. Just get in some of that mixture, place it in your hands, flatten it out, form it, grab your hazelnut, press it into the center, and start to form your mixture around it. Make sure you compact it. Bam, there we go. and just continue. So here we have six Ferrero Rocher truffles done. Now all you need to do is just continue with the rest of the mixture and your hazelnuts that were set aside. When you get done with these, you're gonna put a piece of parchment paper over them and you can place them in the freezer. Can't wait to taste these, these are gonna be so good. Hey guys, and here they are, the Ferrero Rocher truffles. They're about 91 kilocalories each. They're eight grams of fat, about six grams of carbohydrates, and just two grams of protein. Again, another perfect serving.